Hello and welcome to Searching the Scriptures, a daily podcast where Bible questions will be given Bible answers. No opinion, just Bible. For today's episode, we will be looking at the question of what does the word Christ mean? Many people may think that Christ is simply the last name of Jesus. That is, he is called Jesus Christ. So some may think that that is his full name. In Matthew uh, chapter 1, verse 18, Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. People say, well, see, there it is. The Bible says his name is Jesus Christ. But let's skip down to verse 21 of Matthew chapter 1. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Jesus was to be his name. Why is he called Jesus Christ? Well, the word Christ literally means anointed or anointed one and is the Greek translation of the Hebrew word Messiah. You could you could equally rightly say Jesus Messiah or Jesus anointed one as you would be correct in saying Jesus Christ. When we say the word Christ, we mean anointed or anointed one. We are saying that Jesus Christ is the anointed one, the one God chose and has anointed to be king. We are not saying Jesus' full name, as in first and last name. We are, people, people on this earth say Jesus Christ all the time without knowing what they're meaning. They are inadvertently saying Jesus Christ is the king because they are ignorantly, do not know what the word means. Jesus Christ is the anointed one, the one God chose and has anointed to be king. He was sent to this earth by God for man's salvation from sin. God made him king over all things in heaven and earth. Matthew 28. Let's turn there. Matthew chapter 28. Just before Jesus... uh, left this earth, it says in verse 18, And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All power, or all authority, is given to me in heaven and in earth. In heaven and in earth. That's what uh, was given to Jesus Christ. Not a little power. All power. Furthermore, Stephen, before he died, saw heaven, saw Jesus. What did he uh, say? He saw in Acts chapter 7. In Acts chapter 7, we read, start reading at verse 55. But he, that is Stephen, being full of the Holy Spirit, looked up steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing on the right hand of God. Behold, I see heavens open and the Son of Man standing on the right hand of God. That is where Jesus is today. God made him king over all things in heaven and earth. Christ is the head of the church. Christ is the king today. So when we say Jesus Christ, we are saying Jesus is the anointed king, the Messiah, and the Savior. When we say that, this means we need to give him our allegiance, and we need to obey him and serve him. Are you a Christian today? Have you believed in Jesus Christ, repented of your sins, confessed your faith in Jesus Christ, and were baptized for the remission of your sins? If you have not, you are not a Christian, and you need to obey. If you have, you need to live the life of a Christian. You need to be able to say like Paul said to Timothy, I have fought the good fight, I have finished my course, I have kept the faith. Henceforth is laid up for me the crown of righteousness. That's what we need to do. If you are not a Christian today, I urge you to consider your your situation before it is everlastingly too late. Well, that brings us to the end of another episode. Searching the Scriptures has been brought to you by the East End Church of Christ, which meets every Sunday at 10 a.m. at 3601 Victoria Park Avenue, Suite 200, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. If you have any Bible questions that you would like to have answered during this podcast, or if you have any general comments about what you have heard today, you may email them to Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. That's Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. Finally, if you would like to catch up on any episode that you missed, You will find them at www.eastendchurch.org under the daily podcast tab found on the main page. I hope you found the few minutes that we've spent together today useful in expanding your knowledge of what the Bible teaches. Please join me tomorrow when we will be discussing 
what happens to men when we die. Until you listen again, keep searching the scriptures to learn what God wants you to do. Goodbye, and have a great day.